Okay. We, we are up and everything is... Oh. Oh. Hello. Expect this right off the top. Okay. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> anyway, um, hello and uh, welcome to from... Odd uh, the Quinn. Oh, okay. It hasn't updated yet. Um. Oh, okay. Anyway, um, that'll probably unlock later, like the other one. Anyway, this is TigerCon. Um, welcome to um. From Sidewinder to Beagle Point, my journey through Elite Dangerous Beyond 3.0. Um, yesterday we did some combat, uh, trying to get um, some materials for our frameshift drive upgrade. Um, didn't score as much as I had hoped. Um, math was not in my favor. Uh, the RNG, yes. The new material trading system. We're going to have to make some adjustments to that. Today we're going to try some SRV. We're going to get the other materials. The ground material. So we're going to see if we can get some of that. So we're going to go and do some riding around on some planet. So some SRV things. We're going to go for a drive today. So let's see what we've got. We have our SRV. Have some cargo, a fuel scoop. So I guess we're good to go. All I could do is pick a planet and uh, they get started. I want my wake. I want my uh, scanner off my other ship. Actually, I'm not in my home. I'm not. Let's. I stopped off here as I was delivering yesterday. Board clean. Board is clean. Okay. So we um we did some uh, fighting. Then we're gonna do some driving. We're gonna run on the planet surface. Check out the new surfaces. See if we can find some different planets. Maybe. They Find some interesting appearances, see how they work out on the surfaces. See what all that looks like. Okay. Alright, let's get ourselves in the air. Flight assist off. Corrected this later, did I? Shields online. Rotational correction enabled. Thermal signature restored. Shields online. That's my thing. I'm weird. I don't care. Alright, so we're gonna plot a route to Everat. I think it's where all our ships are at. Controls are working for today. Detach confirmed. Observe QS system when go. exiting the station. Control now offline. Hope to see you again, Commander. And first jump of the day. 
day. And it's a nice sunny day outside today. Again, the sun has come back for us. So we had a kind of a damp day yesterday, but today it's nice and pretty outside. Beautiful day. I may get up here in a moment and just go open the doors and windows just to get the fresh air. Maybe when I get settled in here a little bit. But uh nice day out there today. <coughs> hmm, excuse me. <coughs> So, um, yesterday we, basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the frameshift drive for this ship upgraded, but it's becoming something of a challenge just to get that done. The, the all the new materials needed is making this process to initiate the first step of it take a lot longer. I was glancing at the list the other day and I did notice that there was an item higher than those, um, I think it was the wake ones or the materials, I don't know sure which. But um, it seemed to be a trade up, but there's no telling how hard those materials are to find. I'm not even sure I want to know. And there's also some reports on the mission. Um, in the forums, I was just kind of glancing at it earlier, and I noticed that there was someone kind of fussing about the same thing, where the drop rates for the kind of echoes you're looking for are really, really low. I mean, I think I was surprised at all the ship materials I'd gotten, and I really didn't get the kind of ones I was really looking for. I thought it wouldn't matter as much, but yeah, you're pretty much going to have to do what you did before, but it's just more to get at the same time. So do what you always did, but do more than you used to do. That seems to be the way that it's sort of balanced out. Lincoln, Tango, Kilo, Alpha. Comms link established. Please approach the station at a safe speed and give way to larger vessels, Commander. Permission authorized. Cleared for landing on docking bay 04. Scanner. Controller, cargo. Let's take this off.
Did I ever get any armor for this? I think I did, did I? No, I didn't. I'll do it later, though. Don't forget. Plus, we should upgrade these to all class A's. So, collector, cargo, cabin, cargo, a couple of fuel scoop. We won't need that, but... What's she saying? It's not like she's saying something about visitors, and I, I didn't catch all that. That was that was a different kind of announcement I'd not really heard before. It's not one that I'd ever picked up on. I just got through watching a video from City and Ant. I'm assuming it was recent. I don't, it was showing up there talking about imbalance. Skimmer mission. Wouldn't surprise me. Is they, they disabled all the skimmer mission? I saw some the other day. I almost did night one. This scan job. I knew I saw some skimmer mission. Huh? Boom data delay, but we're not there. Um, the other thing I'm curious about is if we wanted to do any optional mining. Kind of why I grabbed the collector. It's a little small to mine in. You need a collector limpet. You need a refinery and a cargo. Well, we have a single collector limpet. Now I'd probably have to replace our advanced discovery scanner. The refinery. Not that cheap, I don't give that much. I do have a 3A refinery, but I'd have to do go a couple of passenger missions to get it. Yeah, well, it's not the goal today. I think we're gonna pass on that for now. We're gonna leave as is. We gotta do some surface. I do need to see what materials come from asteroids now. Okay, so what I need to find is where's the best place to find our, our best bet for best bet for getting whoa, they've updated this website. Technology broke. Ooh. The list here shock cannon, shock cannon gimbal, shock cannon turreted, remote release fletch launcher, uh, meta alloy hull, hull reinforcements, guardian power, guardian plasma charger, guardian gauss cannon. Enzyme missile rack. This is nothing but for, um, this is not it for anything except for, uh, um, 
call it um, Thargoid hunting. Given base cost. Okay. Not quite. Okay, well, that's weird. They got it under engineering, but. Okay, the components. There's the list. Our theory. Okay. Raw material. Used in blueprints. Used for effect. Used tech broker. Surface prospecting. Did you can get it from Astro? Use blue pins. Broker unlock. Yeah, they've updated uh Inara with some this stuff wasn't here yesterday. Components in the same location. Mining. Mission reward. Where do I find you? Where would be the best place for... Material finder. Oh, hello. Okay. Group planet. I don't think I've used this screen before. Hmm. Okay, I guess we'll try this. We'll see if this works. 58 Epsilon Hercules. Okay. This is the wrong screen. There we go. Let's see. A little off the beaten path. Okay, target system. Do I even have the system map? 
surprise me if I do. Okay, I'm looking for... Personal Hercules 2DA. Two D A. All right, we'll see if this has any arsenic. And there's a nice space station right there. Thurston Dock. Ah, well, we know he got off the island then. That's great. All right. This is four jumps away. Okay. I guess we're good to go. Thankfully, stock lock and loaded. And. Oh. Nope, we're not fully loaded. Hold on. I almost forgot. Yeah, almost forgot. Keep home without it. Honestly, if I could get the weapons upgraded and the and the hull, I could have done both missions types in this same ship. You know, get the engines upgraded, get the hull, re you know, get the armor, get the um, the um. Yeah, I, I could probably get this upgraded to the point where I could do all three mission types, the combat, the the, the gathering, the, all that in one ship. Just, you know, make it my material hunter craft. Let's, let's do this first, see if this is viable. Let's do these one at a time. And then as we go through it, we'll upgrade it with all the goodies. Okay, what are we doing power-wise? We have enough juice. Here's we do. Okay. Oh, now we're ready. Now we can pick up any wake as we go. But, you know, basically being able to do all three mission types. Um, or all three gathering types. Do the combat with the gathering. You know, with, with deploying the things. Like I did yesterday, but do it in this ship. You know, get the, get the engines upgraded so I can do it in this ship. And then... The ship restraints withdrawn. Restrict speed until clear of the station perimeter. Um... You know, I mean, there's other security forces around, so I don't have to worry about completely taking them out. I just need to pop them a few times. And then, um... <clears throat> do some mining. Of course, it does mean sharing the weapons with a beam laser, but... Or with a... Probably one of the pulse cannons I can switch out. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe replace one with a beam weapon. Yeah, that's where it fails. I don't have enough ports on this. There's not enough gun power on this thing. Beam arm more like a more like a viper than it would a uh, vulture. Let me jump. Four jumps. But the reason I'm thinking that is that way I can be out and whenever something happens, a great mission, or I come across a ring, or I go do this, or I go do that, I don't have to keep running back to the station to go pick up a piece of equipment every time. Or a different ship. Just have one loadout specifically for this function. But, I don't know, we'll see. You get to a jack of all trades and become a master of none, then each becomes difficult in its own way. But we should also have, I mean, we need the class D's for the, the class D's for the, um. Frame shift drive charging. The long range, but we should have some class A's for some more robust missions. I don't think it'll hurt our light year range that badly. Four, 
We're just trying to go faster and faster and faster, so a lot of this travel time is cut down. If we get this taken care of, and that'll help speed things up really good. It it'll basically allow us to do those passenger missions that we've been spending all that time unlocking a lot faster. We can, we can basically mow through those pretty quickly. So it doesn't take as long. We can stack, we can stack up a couple of them, go run out, do them real quick, come back, pick up a couple more, and then our earnings are a lot higher then. So we're trying to, we're trying to build our foundation. But we're trying to do. I mean, there's going to be times where we're going to have to go to other factions and, and spend time there and stuff, and whatnot. There's, there's going to be points where we sort of have to do that. Um, and nothing will make Super Cruise any faster. There's, there's nothing that changes Super Cruise. But getting the jump range better is always a good thing. I do believe we missed the mark by that much. Epsilon Hercules. We are on our way. I forgot to start Discord, did I? Yeah, I did. Alright, let's see if this has got the goods. In theory, according to the thing, this was 2.8%. So we'll see if um, what that adds up to. As long as we get arsenic or things that can trade into arsenic, that's what we need. Oh, and I remember arsenic is not the only thing we need, is it? Well, one thing at a time. We'll worry about those in a minute. I gotta find my file I wrote every all my notes down in yesterday on. There's not the only thing I need. I think phosphorus was another one. But that's pretty common. And I could probably go poke an asteroid and get that. And so that's what I'm thinking about is I know you can get a ton of iron off some of those asteroids, so and just a ton of everything. I mean, it's a lot of material. So you could just stock up with just tons and tons of material. It doesn't even matter what it is. And just trade it. Just build it up. Build a large supply and just sit there and just fill the hold with just whatever you can find. Just shoot rocks like crazy. Yeah, that's multi setting up on this ship. There's not enough gun port. I don't think relying on a single beam weapon is a good idea. Even a class 2 is iffy if their shields are pretty strong. You're just not going to eat through it very well. At least not without engineering anyway, and I ain't going to that stupid mining lens, that's a bunch of bull. Okay, here we go. It doesn't really matter where we sit down on, let's just sit down on the light side so we can see what we're doing. This will be different, won't it? Let's get near... Orbital flight engaged. 
kind of a small rock. Yeah, this is pretty small. So which of these colors represents arsenic? Let's try the dark color. Let's start there. Start with the darkest and work our way up. Because the different types of colors are supposed to represent different materials. At least that's the theory. Incoming message. <laughs> Captain. Incoming message. That's what he said. Phone. Um, I am going through the extremely tedious task of putting HTML tags in my uh, article for Steam It. Do you have to manually add them? Yep. Why do you have to manually add them? Because the their online tool doesn't do it for you, so I've got an HTML editor that at least automate a little bit of it. I'm gonna say you could probably just put it in an editor and have it work for you. Doesn't Open or LibreOffice have um? Uh, yeah, it's if you're like building. That's if you're trying to build something like... Remember the old um, HTML editor that Microsoft used to have? Kinda. It would basically be like using that. What I'm using is a raw HTML editor. Uh, well, you say that just makes you think, oh, notepad. Well, it's something like that. It's called brackets. Um... <laughs> Because Steemit only accept for, for for posting articles in HTML, they only accept basic tags. The more complicated stuff that Libre offers would add, mm -hmm. it wouldn't it'll throw an error. You need to you need to control what it adds. Need to control what it adds. Okay. Other than something just tossing in every nook and cranny that it could possibly come up with. Yep. Well I'm and going I've for got a drive. And I've got to correct a lot of tags for images. I use the wrong character in a lot of them. I put them in quotation marks instead of um That is the wrong color. What is? Uh, I don't my, have the, I don't have the stream going right now, so my SRV is um it's not customized. It's I had apparently you have to do that every time I guess. Hmm. Anyway. And anyway, we were talking about tag. Yeah, cuz um the only tags that it will support are the image tags, a href for links, um and the p tags, paragraphs, those are those are new. And the H1 what, through 6. Tags? Those have been heavens. around for ages. Those have been around for ages? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. When I last learned HTML, they didn't have those. Oh, they've been around for ages, dude. That means <laughs> you've been a long time ago since you looked at HTML. It's They're not as used anymore because I think dial sheets have sort of replaced them, but they still have their purposes. Huh. And why do I have the feeling this is more than a...
tag out of place. There we go. going to post this until tonight. Um, and you said that uh, it that it's best to post stuff to um, steam it at night. During the day, there's just too much um, Tra traffic. Twitch spam. Twitch spam. There's too much, too many spam articles. Being oh. And your your um your article won't get noticed. There's just too many things being posted. At night seem to be when most of the people are on, and that's when you'll get the most best um, traffic. So I'm going to do that. I'm gonna post it when it starts getting dark when it starts getting later. Things I'm learning about this platform. They're going to have to eventually do something about that spam, though. Yeah. Well, it's all these people that see, oh, you can earn a lot of money doing this. You can earn a, money, a lot of money with this service. And they're not... They're posting stuff, but they're doing it just throwing junk on there without any thought to the quality and formatting and everything, they're not going to get anything for it, whereas the people who are actually posting stuff like me and me and him, that are higher well, the, well, quality the stuff, system actually, actually make money. Filters, I was going to say, will the system filter through that a little bit? Um... I mean, will it eventually get better? I mean, because right now it seems pretty hit or miss one way or the other, right? Yeah. I mean, this is a new system, so... I mean, this thing is very new. <coughs> mm. Mm. So it's a new idea, a new concept, and that image is way too big. Well, my guess is... Holy shit, that big. That image is way too big. I'm thinking okay. that what's probably going to happen is I don't think Demon is going to be the one that really makes it big. I think Demon is the Yahoo of what's coming. It's the first one, but it's not the one that everyone's going to wind up getting to know. I think that one will come later. Yeah. One that really kind of looks at Demon and says, what worked? What didn't work? Let's do it all better. Get it, Get the formula right. And then just blow everybody away with it. So I think there's, I think you're still a generation or two away from it really being uber successful in the way that YouTube once was. Because you're, you're kind of dealing with an experiment that may or may not necessarily be the end all. I think what you'll wind up with is somebody will look at Steam it, see where they succeeded, see where they failed, have the resources to do it better, and then wind up making one that just blows Steam it away and everyone transitions again. And that's yeah. the one that's really going to be the, the main one to have and use. All right, so I picked this dark area here, and all I'm getting is sulfur, iron, nickel. So apparently dark areas are bad for arsenic. Because hmm. I think that the color of the planet now matters in terms of the kind of material you can get. Yeah. There's a little bit of more ability to control some of the RNG a little bit. I think that's a lot of what a lot of these updates, yeah, sulfur, zinc, I think it's a lot of what they've been adding is meant to sort of do is control some of the RNG, at least kind of steer it a little bit. Okay, that's better. More sort of like the Hulk, you know, you can't really aim it, just more steer it. <laughs> yeah. When it comes to the RNG, it's more like you can't really steer it, just sort of 
or aim it, just sort of have to steer it in the general direction and hope it hits. Yeah. Well, these early arcade boards were ugly. Oh? Yeah. You talking about like the, the actual boards on the inside? Yeah, the actual circuit boards. Boy, these are... Well, back then, elegance like... wasn't part of the design. They were just trying to make it work. I know. They were doing, they were doing good just to make the thing run. Mm. By the way, in case you're wondering what I use on for the SRV, the 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 paddles. I use the paddles for the for the gas. Ah. Uh. <laughs> it makes for easy. You'll you'll find it's easy to control. Among all your thrusters, the paddle is the easiest to actually control. Yeah. I'm doom bugging it out here right now. You're out looking for materials for the, the engineers. The engineers, yeah. Well, actually you're looking for stuff to um give the material traders you yeah. can get those materials that you need for the engineers i need an image to, right there I need a picture right there of some kind but see it sounds like they're making you do a lot of work yeah, it is. It's, it, Just, it is a little bit. Um, but you know what that probably means is it's going to put a distinction between the quality post and the crappy post. Yeah. Maybe. That's what I'm going for here is to try to go for the, uh, the quality. Because Steemit needs people with pretty on quality if they're going to succeed. Mm -hmm. They need that. They need people to put in quality. Okay, I'm just finding basic stuff. I do need some of this stuff, but that's all I'm finding. I mean, phosphorus is kind of important. bit of nickel which I need for um, crafting well you know what I thought about doing I was talking about it earlier was I was thinking about um, um, equipping my diamond back to see if I can get it to do these three different types of missions because I mean, I'm not really in danger when I was doing what I was doing yesterday it wasn't really any danger to it I mean there's so many federal forces it's actually harder to get a kill so all I really got to do is shoot the guy and not let him actually kill me while I, uh... Okay, yeah. why can't I pick you up? I can't pick you up because I have to shoot you first. But I'm at a weird angle. Hold still so I can shoot you. Oh, crap. That's going to go flying off the top of this mountain. Yeah, I'm sulfur, carbon, nickel. That's all I'm getting. This is a planet that's supposed to have arsenic on it. According to the list. But then again, they said the color of the planet now matter to what you'll find there. 
And so because going in knowing that, what I did is I set myself for the darkest color. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start here. Whoa! That is not what was supposed to happen. Did I lose it? I'm more flying at the top of this hill than I am doing any driving. I'm supposed to drive today, not fly. You broke it. All right, where's this thing at? They honestly add winds down. Hmm? Seriously, hold on. There's a wind like sound. A wind like sound? Yeah. Okay. Seriously. There we go. Okay. This is like 0 0.07 G on this planet. I'm plopping all over the place like a rag doll. <laughs> that didn't help much. I'm more like a beach ball right now. Literally, I'm just I'm hitting the ground. It's not even doing any damage. It's like a like I'm riding at a beach ball. <laughs> All right, let's try a different color. Which where's my ship gonna sit down in this mess? I don't know. No, that thing nose dive the front of the ship. Hold on. Ah. This ground is anything but flat. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did land in a crater. Man, this is messed up down here. All right. I think it stuck my ship's ass in the air. Are you kidding me? Seriously? You land on the only sp you land. <laughs> yeah. It landed where the hill is blocking the bay. Hmm. Seriously. Let's see if we get to some flat ground. Got trapped out here at the moment. My ship landed right on top of a. Uh, Okay. Um. Um. Okay. That's a long 
drop that I went off of. Mm -hmm. Airtime! Who needs a ship? Not when you got a flying SRV. <laughs> we signal lost. Maybe I'll just roll down the hill, it'll be easier. Okay, how did that turn out? <laughs> Is there a way to exit that mode? Back, not bound. Camera controls, let's see. Options, control. Oh, that did put a space in that. Camera okay. suite. More editing. Free camera. What the back, right? Hmm. Thanks for the camera. Let's see if that <sighs> same thing. I did. Ah, but it won't let me uh Instead of typing that out every time, why don't you just copy paste? Save me a lot of grief. There. Right there. <laughs> God. Right there. Clank, clank, clank. You doing, Ray? Oh, we're we're dune buggying on this moon here. You're dune buggying. Well, <laughs> let's just say that. Are you ha. destroying your SRV? I actually, I am a little bit. Ah. It's not my, it's not got my paint job on my weapon colors anyway, so it's a cheap old stock model. Tumbling. Yeah. Okay, this looks better. Let's, let's try this now. Tumble, 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 tumble. I should have enough materials at this point, maybe to repair. <laughs> yeah, I got them. That one. There we go. All fixed up. <laughs> Crash. Huh. All fixed up. Crash. <laughs> oh, <I'll> smash. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now. Well, that's either the center of the asteroid. That is either the center of the ast of where the impact crater is. Or it's the biggest pile of dino dung you'll ever see in the universe. I'm not sure which. <laughs> I do believe that I have finally. Shit in there. Did you park back over there again? Are you serious? I'm all the way over here, and where'd you park? Did you park back up in those hills? Seriously? Oh, get out of there! Fucked in the freaking hole! 
Oh, flat territory out here, and it parked in the home. Get out of there! Get out of there! Okay, let's try this again. Because all I'm getting here is nickel and copper and zinc. And it's fine, I do need that stuff, but I did need some phosphorus, which I do think I did get some. Alright. Where are you? Are you seriously headed back to that? Okay, there you are. Finally got a lock on you. Every rock in the universe and it's in front of me. Oh, galaxy! Oh, galaxy out there! And I swear I get every rock. This is taking a whole new meaning to rock and roll! <laughs> deal with all right let's try one of the lighter colors The dark color. Let's try those white splotches over there. They're not very big. Let's try the lightest color. Yet, not yet. I'm trying to pick a site here. Can't do it when it's directly below me. Okay. <coughs> That's better. There.
try that. Appreciated the horizontal line tag. Yeah, that's been that's been gone. That, well, it's been depreciated for a long time. Most browsers have still used it, but not really considered a thing. Great, I traded one rough terrain for another. All right, well, let's see if there's any goodies here for to be had. There's somebody out here besides me. Mm. I am not alone. We're not alone. We're not alone. They're coming to get you. You know, it would help to actually drive <laughs> using my wheels instead of the nose of my SRV. Ah. Yeah, that, that would help. Well, what's making this guy annoying is he's causing reflections on my scanner that already hard enough to use because of the terrain. This is a terrible terrain. Maybe this is not the best planet to use, but this, this is pretty rough. <laughs> hmm. Well, let's, concern, let's confirm if this white material is what I'm looking for, and I might see if I can find me a better, more amenable planet. This serious rough train here. We got a signal, so let's see if we can find. Two signals that split on me, and a third weaker signal. Let's start with this one. All right, what do we got?
Oh, that's interesting. Why can't they fire? You can't fire because you'd shoot your nose off, kid. Iron, nickel, sulfur, carbon. Are you kidding me? And it's all floating away. It's all rolling downhill. You know, I wonder if the planets in the um, I wonder if the um, <clears throat> list of what planets have is altered because of a new planetary system. That this is no longer a sulfur world anymore, or a arsenic type world. No. That means none of the sites would be valid until people figure out the new system. That if they've changed everything to where where the colors denote what materials there are. Well, not only that, that because the colors are there now and because it did change that, that all the sites that told you where materials were are no longer valid because they're not valid for 3.0. If you try to look something up, you won't find anything. You literally have to just keep trying different worlds until it says something. Actually, let's see what it says for this planet. What does it say? Does it even say arsenic for this world? No, it actually does. It says arsenic 2.8%. <coughs> it does say it. It does match. So it's here. But all I'm finding is carbon, iron, nickel, all that stuff. Hmm. Either that or the drop rate's bugged. Because you know what? After yesterday, I was looking on the forums this morning before I went on, before I came on live, and there's a post where somebody was trying to find data mine wick exceptions like I was doing, and they were in a, um, they were in where you would normally do it, and they were out there for hours, and they only found like two or three. And they were out there for hours, he said. So all that work I did was maybe not for naught, because at least I did find some, was able to trade up to it. The guy was out there for hours, and he's like, yeah, I couldn't find nothing. I'd have to go back and see what his hour times were, but he said he was at it for a long time. And it's just nothing. Might be better just to go mine a bucket ton of iron and come back and just trade over. Just fill the hold with iron. Just trade over. Hmm. What am I looking at here? Okay, well that was interesting. Sulfur, sulfur, selenium, iron, tin, sulfur. I mean, because you could get this kind of stuff from mining really fast. Oh, I mean, yeah. you could really pile it on. And maybe that ought to be the way to do it. Instead of doing it this way. I know selenium trades over to sulfur pretty, or pretty, uh, arsenic pretty straightforward. But compared to the material gathering rate of mining, this is slow. Maybe I should just do that. I've been out here for a while now and I haven't found any. If I'm gonna have to trade to get it, I might as well just go straight for it and do that way. Yeah. Strong. That this method's no longer as, vi as viable as it once was. I mean, 2.8 is not a bad, bad ratio either. No. I mean, it's actually <clears throat> pretty good. But, 
mean, this raid is... Okay. Oh. Oh. this hill. I passed one, didn't I? Yeah. Getting that on this hill is going to be murder. All right. I do not like this world. This, this is this is murder. This this terrain is terrible. I got to ask the question. I know there was once upon a time no, not you. Or was it you? You're not the one I'm looking for. There, Decot. Wasn't there a world on Decot that had it? The one that was right under it? And I think it was a much better drivable world. Let's see if I got this surface data for it. There's a planet right in the neighborhood. <sighs> Iron, sulfur, nickel, phosphorus, magazines, zinc, vitamin, caspian, tungsten. Those are probably better tradable ones. Sulfur, selenium, iron, nickel, sulfur. Phosphorus, Magnesium. Arsenic, 2.5%. And honestly, that surface looks a heck of a lot smoother than the one I'm on. Let's try this. Oh, unavailable. Select. Oh, come on. Really? I'm fat. Fine. Check recalled. Get me out of here. This. Well, this is a pristine metal rich system. Rocky metallic. Um, metallic metal rich. <laughs> metal rich. Metal rich and rocky. There's no ice. But there's a lot of metal rich planets in this. I think what I'm going to do. I'm at least going to keep systems. For metal rich. Rich might be better trade rates anyway. Mm. Ah, 
town. That's how you park. Cargo scoop retracted. I'm gonna go try the one over there in Decot. I've identified one. I'm gonna go try it. Thing is, it's in the neighborhood. Let's try this. The right one. Yeah, it's 2.5 percent. So, about as good as the one I'm on. Yeah. Let's give it a shot. engine on that but all right um i did get another invitation from another engineer yesterday earlier yesterday uh, what did i do to get that um i got todd the blaster mcquinn he's the one who wants the 100 100,000 credits worth of bounty vouchers that'll take me yeah. Time. yeah that'll take a while i didn't do too bad yesterday what i'm thinking is I could do what I did the other day and just sort of gather materials at the same time and collect bounty vouchers. I mean, because I made what? I think I actually made more than that. I made like 60 something or 80 something. I don't know. Like I said, I'm, t I'm tempted to multi roll this ship a little bit. Hmm. Remember, I don't even have to kill those ships to get the materials from them. All I got to do is shoot them. Yeah. Once I get a couple of hits in for it to count, the security forces take care of the rest. Swap out one one web one beam weapon, or swap out with a beam weapon, to make up with the difference to reduce damage. Um, a grade the a grade the engine a grade the core. Put some reinforcement arm uh, military grade armor on. And then um, put a um, put the um, collector limpet on. The only thing I don't have room for is um, I'd have to get rid of a few things. A discovery scanner. It basically would not be an explorer ship in that case. Yeah. I mean, I would be I'd be not. Well, the point would be to go around and be able to gather materials and using that whole system to do it. I'm trying to build my foundation of how I can build up to things. You know, cargo, uh, refinery. It's just this ship has not got that many spaces. You have to really kind of... But if SRV driving has become unviable, then just skip it. 
we're gonna try this other planet and if we if we really aren't picking up anything there either then we'll we'll go back and drop the SRV pick up a collector limpet and a or prospector limpet put our collector limpet back on and go try some basic mining throw a refinery on here actually you know what screw the refinery and I'll tell you why I don't need it it's worthless I don't need a refinery I'm needing materials not ore It'll eliminate me having to even mess with that. The limpets only collect stuff I can gather. So anytime materials drop off, not ore, but materials like iron and all that, that are actual materials, that's all I want anyway. So I, I don't even need a, um, all I need is a mining laser. I don't even need a refinery, I think. I guess we'll find out, won't we? There'll be a lot of junk I can't collect, but a lot of junk I don't want to collect. It's not the goal. Because I was going to use a Type 6 or full-on mining. Much better at it. I got to do that kind of mining anyway, but it'd be for Type 6. But that's further down the road. Captain. Read message. try this first and then let's see if I can what I get if it doesn't pan out and I have my doubts then we'll try um, the other idea of just mining without a refinery see if the limpet will just collect the materials that's all I need get as much of that as I possibly can I don't even need a prospect I just shoot every rock in sight I don't care what it drops Fill, fill, fill the inventory. Just fill the, fill the material. Fill the material slots. Just fill it up. Just sit there and shoot everything in sight. Just don't even need to be picky about the rock. Just take whatever I get and go to the material trader and trade it all in. Yeah. Don't worry about what it is. Just go for, just go for, just bulk. Forget efficiency. Let's just go for bulk. Precise targeting things in this game is too complicated with the RNG. You can't precisely target stuff easily without it being hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours, and hours of grinding. I mean, the trade rates are terrible, but maybe in a high middle rich asteroid field, maybe that may not matter as much. Let's try this first, and then I'm already on the way. See if I can get any arsenic the old-fashioned way. After that, screw it, and we'll go try my plan B. Might try plan B anyway, just for a comparison. Frameshift drive charging. You know, it's funny, I was watching uh, Cajun Joss's video or stream earlier a little bit, and he was doing he had the exact same ship. He, he was trying to get stuff for his beam weapons. He had a diamond back down to a planet looking for materials. Grind, grind, grind! Even them, even though, even the, even the elite expert players, grind, grind, grind! You know what I mean? Yeah. You can't escape the big G. And I ain't talking about God, the big grind, the grinder. You cannot escape. You cannot escape it. You cannot get away, man. You cannot get away. By the way, I was 
was um I heard, I heard someone say that Man, Man and the Wasp doesn't take place between the Infinity War movies. It actually takes place post uh, Civil War. It's further back in time a little bit. Timeline wise. <laughs> So it takes place before all this stuff happens. What I am really curious to know is, does anything that's on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. right now count toward what's going on with Infinity War? Mm, what was the last thing happening? In... In Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, they, um, they got thrown into the future. There was a new white monolith that an alien Chronicon tossed them through. Um, sent them to the future 90 years. Um, and they were in this dystopian place. Now, how much of this do you want to spoil? Be warned. Uh, go on. Okay. Um, so they were in this dystopian place. They didn't even know where they were. They looked out the window with big giant asteroid field. It looked like they were way deep space. After a little bit of getting into a lot of trouble because they didn't know what was going on, come to find out that asteroid field was the remnants of Earth. And after a little bit more research, they found out, oh, Daisy Johnson did this. Yeah, that's what everyone there believed is that Daisy was responsible somehow. So they were like really freaking out how that's even possible. So anyway, um, they do. They fight a bunch of Kree, Cassius, Sonara, a um, whole bunch of other baddies. Um, lots of badass fighting. Pretty good. Whole whole time they're there is pretty good. <laughs> these things called roaches, which were basically uh, these giant, basically like alien-like creatures. They had to fight off. They um, they found the Zephyr. And the person that was there was the woman, Robin, who was basically able to see the future. So she had all these drawings and stuff. So anyway, after a whole lot of rigmarole and adventuring, they finally make their way back to Earth. They find um, a, a, an inhuman who puts the monolith back together in the future for them, and they use it to go back. Well, they find the place that they were in was called the Lighthouse. Come to find out, it was a facility built by S.H.I.E.L.D. in the 60s as an emergency bunker. So it was actually a S.H.I.E.L.D. facility the entire time they were in. So they have huh. the they have the 19 or 2018 version of it that they go back to. Come to find out that um, not only is the white monolith there, the, the uh, uh, another black monolith that sent... Um, Gemma across the galaxy and a new third gray monolith. And everyone's looking at that going, okay, what does that one do? Anyway, so they get back, they get they need to find a way to save or stop whatever happened from happening. Whatever destroys the earth, they need to stop it. Or whatever Daisy does or whatever situation comes into play. Well, when when they were in the future, they found out that one of the first things they know is that what called the Cree was something about a light in the sky. So they were they were back and they they looked at they looked at some stuff and found out that oh yeah somebody's using the beacon that called two Cree back in season four and they're like totally freaking out going no we gotta stop that that could call them we don't want to start this whole thing and it was a trap so whoever was messing with this trap yeah they screwed everything up for everybody possibly. <laughs> Huh. And that's where like, it's at like now. Calling the, by calling the Kree. Now, by, by last remember, they were all going to be arrested at the end. Yeah, well, what happened was the guy that showed up that was that had actually picked them up was the guy yeah. who sent them into the future. But he got there before the cop did. Ah. That, that, okay. And they, he sent them into the future. Okay. Okay, light or dark or medium? Pick one. Um, dark, I guess. Oh, works for me. Orbital flight engaged. I'm gonna pick the darkest dark spot in the back. 
looking for arsenic and these are small spots so maybe that's where you go to look for it guess was as good as mine that's why I was just tossing it out there so everything is now gray instead of uh, beige they, they fix the color just by making it all one color and another color at least on this world I mean there's some different tones but usually when I found this stuff before I'd usually look in craters that's why I'm headed here Anyway, um, this tonight or or the next time they or next week Friday when they show it again, it's going to be yeah. the one hundredth episode. They're going to do one of those funky. Remember what Stargate did when they had their hundredth episode, and they had all yeah. those different things from the different shows and all those different crazy stuff going on. They're going to do one uh -huh. of those. They're going to do one of those. Ah. They're going to fight, you know, previous bad guys. Well, that's what I think the gray model this was all about. They're going to, it's, I think people are thinking it's probably a dimensional a monolith. So it's going to send them through time, space, and dimensions. So basically, they're just going to be, everything's going to be screwed up. You got to patch reality itself, I guess. I can't see crapola. Okay, there's detail, finally. Mm, this is... Oh, that, that terrain looks terrible. Are you kidding me? Is it where it's like really, really Craggy. Yeah. Let me get on the ground, but I don't got good hopes for this. This part doesn't look so bad here. Well, I'm down. That was a little rough, but. I just went clank. It's good to know that I'm consistent. I clank on pads and clank on planet. It's good to have the consistency. And the headlamps ain't worth crap on this thing. They, the lighting on the headlamp, we're near as bright as it used to be. All right, what do we got? All right, that's the materials right off the top. It's not as bad. At least not where I'm at at the moment. Mm -hmm. There are worse spots. Trippin looked pretty terrible though. But we're trying the darkest spot. We're down in a crater, so we'll see. What do we got? We got mag magnesies, iron, iron, nickel, and you gotta be kidding me. Really? No different. Hip was so maybe maybe the maybe this is not the best place. This is used to be where I'd look for it though. Okay, I got. Oh yeah. I think I'm getting higher reading. 
I gotta know. Aha. Uh -huh. I see something on the horizon. over here. Down in this crater. Way to tell if a skimmer was wanted or not. Oh, I think you just scanned it. That's what I thought too. I'm at I'm at a range of seventy. This thing's right in front of me, and yet <coughs> I can't seem to scan it. I can't get a read on it. I can't tell if it's hostile or not. It won't scan it. It could be, it, it's not telling me any data. It's not telling me clean. It's not telling me not clean. It's not telling me nothing. And the scan don't work. Hmm. That's something not mapped. Yeah, data leak scanner, number two. Because something's supposed to tell you that, that they're wanted or not? Yeah, well, look, take a look at the stream right now. Either that or they're not wanted. No, because they were wanted the other day when I did this, and I couldn't tell. I just shot them, and they happened to be wanted. It didn't tell me then that they were wanted. So I've already encountered ones I know were wanted, and it didn't tell me. Hmm. So I can't tell if this is illegal or not. Um, let me look at the stream. Stand by. There's a defense turret here too. <coughs> All right. Um. Defense turret doesn't tell me anything either. Yeah, it won't scan. I'm at 42 meters. I shouldn't be able to scan this. But my scan does nothing. I think you have to actually lock onto them. I am locked onto him. Well, get out of the turret and look at the regular view. You know when they have, you know when the target has brackets around it? Well, look. And you target it that way? Look. I don't see the brackets. It's targeted, dude. Look. Huh. The tree skimmer, it's targeted right there. And it's not giving you any data look, in the look, look at the display down panel. There. Yeah, look at the display. Huh. I can't tell okay. if he's wanted or not. Okay. Huh. So I don't know if, right if I'm clear to fire or not, because the data link scanner is simply not working. Huh. See, when I, I'm pushing the button B, which is what it's mapped to, right here, it's mapped. I don't think it's the, it's not the data link scanner that scans them. You have to actually target them. Dude, he's targeted, look. It says sentry skimmer, shield zero, 100% hull. Huh. 
He's literally 15 meters in front of me. How do you not scan that? Well. Oh, that's special. And see, the, the, the target lock is on him. See, if I were to shoot, it would hit him. How are you supposed it's... to know if these guys are wanted or not anymore? Fine. Now, see, he was wanted. But there was nothing to tell me that. That must be a bug. Well, that's a hell of a bug. Because you can't put a kill warrant, warrant scanner on these things. Where's your shooting? Where's your buddy? Where's your buddy? I don't see your buddy. not doing anything. That's... Target destroyed. Okay, I'm getting both a fine and a bounty. This is weird. This doesn't make any sense. Are they wanted or are they not wanted? Now see it's scanning these guys. Those are those uh, mining harvester things. Yeah. It can't be destroyed. Yeah. I don't know if this is good, bad, or what. You should be able to um, Well, you didn't get a bounty for that, or, or did you get a fine for I that? A, I got a bounty and claims. It was both it was both wanted and not wanted at the same time. None of this made much sense. Huh. Does it say wanted on yours now? Oh, I'm wanted. Huh. I was trying to see if these things would pop up with materials. Yeah, you'll have to pay off a fine. Mining fragment. Where's that at? Hold on. Are they dropping anything? I think one of them is. not worth anything it's not illegal hmm. goods either huh. if that music makes you think I'm in trouble let's finish the job okay oh that's my ship right <laughs> yeah okay 
you might want to take your ship away. Unless <laughs> <coughs> you got your rebuy cost. Oh, you're kidding. Am I stuck? That's why I called it because I can't um, only carry two items. Hmm. End of the last time I was illegal, I stuck around too long. Maybe I should go while they're going good. Yeah, let's go. The <laughs> security force just showed up, huh? Yes! Oops. <laughs> I left just in time! Just in time. Alright, where am I wanted at? Let's see. Not wanted there, and I think they have a... Uh... It doesn't seem wanted anymore. <laughs> I got out just in time. I learned that lesson the other day. Don't stick around. Don't stick around and just sit there and collect cargo. Get out. Grab the goods and go. Let's see, where's this? Where's this? Where's this? Wait, where's where's the fine? Wait, what happened? There, I don't have a fine anymore. I had I had a 400 credit fine or bounty. Huh. It's gone. Huh. It's gone. It's gone. Huh. Well, that was weird. No, because I know I had a 400 credit fine. Or was fine or a bounty, I'm not sure. But either way, it's not a thing. That's confusing. Low wake at Federal Security Service. Yeah, I bet. Doesn't tell me I'm wanted anywhere. Huh. You know what? That method wasn't getting me any goods anyway. Screw it. Let's go let's go shoot some rock. Go turn this bounty in and let's go shoot some rock. Actually that won't do me any good because the independent decot green party. I need to find where you guys are here. Uh Independent Decot Green Party. Probably at one of these other stations.
Yeah, this one. That's really where I need to go. <clears throat> Garay Terminal or something. Go train it in. Find out what if I'm wounded or not, or what the status is. That was weird because he wasn't shooting me until I started to take off. And then I got off the ground pretty quickly. He got my shields down, but I apparently got away from him far enough that he didn't proceed. Okay, give me give me the transit. When did I transact? Come on, play, please. Hold on, this is being anal. Come here, you. Hold on, this window is being anal. Hold on. <laughs> Stop asking me questions. Leave me alone. I'm busy trying to figure something out. Screw it. Let me try the Twitch one. YouTube's being anal. Apparently, Twitch doesn't have the ability to roll back. No. Well, that's not going to help me much. I'm trying to get to the point where YouTube's being anal right now. It says video output low. I, I don't know. Everything's kind of screwed up right now. YouTube's crashing. Are we being disconnected? No. Can you check? Because honestly, this is this whole thing is. Um, me. it is wonky. Damn. Yeah, there's there's some timeouts going on. <sighs> well, Shit, that and it just. Uh, it wasn't bad before when I started the test, but now it's gotten worse. What the hell is going on out there? It was fine yesterday. Claims, claims. That's all it shows is claims. That's all it shows. Yeah, you don't even show having a bounty on you at all. I'm watching as you're going into the station. Yeah, you just have claims. Okay, this is when I set the course. Then I set the course for the station. Yeah, I check it. Okay, I was headed for Fars here. Well, I was confused because I didn't have a... Uh... Okay, I'm looking at Gar Garay Terminal. It does not say wanted. It does not say wanted on it. There's no reason to suspect that I shouldn't go there. There's no reason to suspect that they would shoot at me. There's nothing. All right. Yeah, they're just... flying along, and then all of a sudden it says ship destroyed. Yeah, they just opened fire. Just open fire out of nowhere. You didn't even. You didn't even jump. You didn't even leave Super Cruise yet. It just pops to ship destroyed. Oh, you know what? That's probably because of the stupid stream screwing up. Hold on, let me check. You know what? That's about the same. <sighs> I wonder if the network fuck up was screwing up the um, the the data coming from the game. That's possible. Do you have your rebuy cost or no? I don't know. I am not even interested in that right now. I'm trying to understand what happened. No, this is from. Um, I'm still on, according to this. I'm dropping yeah, frames like crazy over here. Um, yeah. It's either that or it's... Remember, we sometimes we have to reset our networking gear. Networking equipment. Something has gone completely ballistic. I'm dropping we, frames like water. We may need to do that. Yeah, I'm, I don't even know. I don't even know what... This, let me check Twitch. Uh, Twitch is showing me still online. But I don't know how much of this has been gotten through... How much of it is lost? I, I can't tell. I can't tell anything. Everything is just completely shot up. 
I, I don't know what happened. Uh, it all oh, completely gone sideways. Hold on, I gotta cover my windows here. Everything is completely screwed up. Can you still can you still hear me on the stream? Am I actually still broadcasting or is it completely gone? Um Google okay. shows an orange dot. Um or is that it looks orangish? I still see your ship destroyed. I haven't changed that because that's what I haven't me get past that. Yeah. <clears throat> well, for not having a warrant, a bounty. I think I did have it. Let's see what I got. The timeouts could have been affecting whether or not you actually... It could have affected whether or not you actually saw you had one. I was about 100k short of a... Um, I was about 100k short of um, the rebuy. But it's giving me a loan, which I can pay off. That made absolutely no sense. <coughs> that made absolutely no sense whatsoever. Mm. I don't know what happened. I don't know what the hell happened. What ship were you in? My diamond bag. Ooh. I've got um. The rebuy was six hundred. Um, it's giving me a 95k loan. That'll be easy to pay off. The initial balance was I had 539k. Most of that came from flying yesterday. Legal costs, bounties, and fines. 400 credit. See, there's the see, there's the fine. See, or the bounty is telling me that I had the bounty, a 400 credit bounty, but it didn't even tell me anything about it, so I couldn't tell where it was, what was going on. I wasn't getting any accurate information whatsoever. It was just giving me garbage. And yet the entire incident is missing. Huh. The, 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 it's not in the video at all. It, it completely, the, the net, I don't know. I can't tell you right now if the network screwed up the data and it desynchronized the server and my ship and my, and my, and my client. If I got desynchronized because of the data, I, I, I can no longer pin it on them because I got a video that blacked out at the whole time. Because we had the video drop out the entire sequence. As far as I know, it could have been desynchronized from the client server thing. It hadn't updated. Because it showed it. When I took off, the, ship, the other ship attacked me. I was going to fly to... Um, Farseer, because I thought they had an interstellar factor there, and then I looked at my console. It didn't show a bounty anymore. It just showed the, the thing. I looked at the station map, or looked at the station on the system map. It didn't say wanted. My console didn't say wanted. I was like, okay, well, this credit needs to be turned in. Now, if I'd done a cold landing, I'd have probably been fine. But I came in on the back side of the station. I, I, what, the one, another reason I got scanned is I took too long to get in there. I came along the back side and flew around the back side of the station. It was as I was approaching the front of the gate, that's when everybody opened fire. I was sitting there about to dock. It said, docking request denied. And then everyone started shooting. But none of that's in the video. All that's gone. I don't even know how much of this... Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to restart the stream. I'm going to go in there and reset our equipment. And we'll start from there. Ah, what the hell? Let me make sure I save all my shit here. <laughs> 